Welcome to Fuck a Title Show, folks. I am your host, Juvie the Kid. Before we get into it, hit up patreon.com slash churchofjuvie. $5 subscribers. There's exclusive videos, early access, all that good stuff. Patreon.com slash churchofjuvie. Now, let's start with a little uplift of the soul. I'm so happy, I'm so glad that I've got you. I'd like to thank you, and thank you means mercy. Messi, my little way of saying thanks. Messi for being you. Ah, fuck. Am I right, folks? Merci for being here. Merci for being you. All right? God damn it. If there's any commercial, if there's any commercial that uplifts your soul, it's a Merci chocolate commercial. Not that new one they fucking did. This is some bullshit. <sighs> What's going on, folks? I'm your host, Juvie the Kid. As always, unless it's your first time, then I promise this will be gentle. Especially this one. You picked a good one to tune into. I only got, only got a quick couple little show notes, but I still felt like doing a podcast because that's how it works around here. Quick sip of the coffee and then uh, we'll get into this. loud slurpy noises okay 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 now i've been talking a lot about support lately um the next installment i guess we could call it um of this these support talks um a lot of be a lot of people will say you know i don't support i don't support those that don't support me like if you don't support what I'm doing, I don't support you. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't know Kanye West gave a fuck about your gym selfies on Instagram because you bought a pair of his shoes. Oh, I didn't know Jay-Z and you were friends because you got his album and he came over and played PS4 with you. I didn't know that. I didn't know Jennifer Lawrence came over and had dinner and glasses of wine with you because you went and saw a movie of hers. What what that to say you don't support people that don't support you, but then all you do is support celebrities or other people that don't even know you doesn't make sense i'm sorry like what did what i don't support people that don't support me oh i'm going to see justice league this weekend did i tell you like oh what you and Zack snyder and ben affleck y'all are besties y'all hang by the pool side sipping on my ties i didn't know that color me surprised like what are you doing? Uh, come on, if you it, and also, hey, if you're not doing anything, what do you mean? Like you don't support those that don't support you? Like what is that? Like especially okay, especially if you're the type of person where all like you don't do anything creatively. Like let's just throw let's throw like a like the te- teenager fucking just s- chills all day smokes weed doesn't do anything you know doesn't fucking help out anybody just fucking gets his friends and shit to get him beer and all that for the weekend or even during the week what do you mean you don't support those that don't support you what do you mean What is there to support when you're just living your life doing that? You and the owner, you and the owners of Budweiser tight? No? Hmm, can't say that then, can we, folks? Like, what the fuck? It's like, oh my. 
it just people are saying some dumb shit these days. That's how that that's how we're gonna say it. Some people are just saying some dumb shit these days. That's like I I promise there's not gonna be any Mayweather or McGregor talk. But like when that whole sparring video clip got released, I saw somebody on Twitter say if you believe that Connor landed any of those punches and that was a knockdown, then you believe that doves are real. Doves. You believe that doves are real. I'm sorry. Are doves not real? Hey, Prince. Your song, When Doves Cry? Can't happen. They're not real. Because they don't cry. What the fuck? You gotta think before you type and before you speak, folks. Especially, like I said, if it's one of those things where all you're doing is supporting fucking celebrities and all that shit, and then you turn around and say, oh, I don't support people if they don't support me. What the fuck do you mean? Give your head a shake, as my nan would say. Give your head a shake, boy. God damn it, folks. The fuck? Oh. I'm just saying, if your friends are doing something, whether they're trying to start a clothing line, whatever, do what you can to support them. If you can afford to like buy something off them, buy them. If you can afford to buy a, a music, like an album off them, because that's what they do, then do it. But don't say that nobody supports you when you have folks around you that'll support you, but all you do is support celebrities that don't know you doesn't make sense okay and this like honestly this isn't even going out to the hooligans this is just shit that i've been seeing on fucking the instagram like explore page and like twitter it's just i don't know people saying some just doesn't make sense gotta fix this give me a second fuck it deal with it after the show (sighs) yeah Yeah, I don't know. Support what you like, but don't fucking make a scene about it. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay. Audiobooks. That's an awesome transition, isn't it? Going from all that to audiobooks. (laughs) Okay, so, um, I don't know. I just wanted to actually talk about audiobooks because um, a lot of folks been hitting me up just kind of asking about them lately like I guess just my thoughts on them or whatever um I'm a big fan of uh audiobooks to be honest I listen right now I'm actually listening to the it audiobook there's a specific one so let's pull it up audiobooks okay so the it audiobook that I'm reading is the one read by Steven Weber. Um, I like it. Um, but the reason I like audiobooks so much as well is because one, they're pretty handy. Like if I feel like, you know, writing or like doodling or whatever, um, I can have the audiobook in the background. You know what I mean? Um, hold on. I can have the audiobook playing in the background and everything. Um, especially when it's a good one. There's some that'll be just, you know, it'll basically be somebody reading the book. Uh, I don't usually go for those ones. Um, I, go, I like to go for the ones where, like this one with it, Stephen Weber, like, you know, he, he tries to get into characters. You know what I mean? kind of like really set the mood of what's going on and everything and try to, you know, convey what these characters are going through. Um, what's another good one? Oh, another one, good one. Uh, Mr. Be Gone by Clive Barker. It's actually read by Douglas Bradley, the actor who did uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser. Uh, he reads the book and to have somebody of his caliber reading this book is one, it's so, it's, it's so amazingly performed that it feels like you're listening 
Like, it feels like you're listening to somebody act, just talking to you and telling you this, like, crazy life story. It's really, really good. Um, what's another? Ooh, uh, another good audiobook. Nocturnal by, oh, what's his name? I want to say Brian Sigler, but I might be wrong on that. Where's my phone? There we go. We'll Google this real quick. <clears throat> But either way, um, audiobooks are also good if you have like a long drive ahead of you. Uh, and like, I don't know, instead of listening to the fucking radio and everything. Brian Sigler. Oh, uh, okay. I was close. Scott Sigler. Nocturnal by Scott Sigler. Um, that's a really, really fucking dope book. Um, but yeah, it's also one of those things like, on, like some people to sit down and really like dedicate an hour to just like reading words off a page, like to some people that's, I don't know. It's just, it's boring. You know what I mean? There's really like, it, that's like, I know some people that read to like tire themselves out cause it just like puts them to sleep basically. Um, with audiobooks, I don't know. I feel like, especially with the ones that are like really well performed and Willie, <laughs> Willie Rell read. <laughs> really well read. Um, I feel those ones are like, I don't know. It's almost like you're watching a show. You know what I mean? Like, think about it back in the day, you know, we didn't before TV and shit, like the radio, like they had series and like everything on the radio. You were listening to what these characters were going through. You were trying to, you know, these, these actors had to convey what was happening through just reading the script or whatever. Um, and when there's a good audiobook. And they're uh, like the reader is able to do that. It makes it so much better. Um, yeah. So I don't know. For me, I'm, I'm a fan of audiobooks. Um, I'm also a fan of like having physical copies of books, though, as well, and like reading those. Um, so I don't know. Also, I don't know. I'm like <laughs> a random fact. Um, I'm actually like when it comes to certain books whenever I, I'll check the front page just to see, um, because there is a few books that I've actually gotten to like own that I paid like very, very little for that ended up being like a first edition printing of it. Um, and to me, I don't know, there's always kind of something a little extra about having like a first edition. Um, actually the book Cabal by, <laughs> excuse me, by Clive Barker. It was made into the movie Nightbreed. Um, I have a first edition print of that. So that's actually really like dope for me because I'm a big, big, big Clive Barker fan. Um, I love his movies. I love the books, uh, his graphic novels, his artwork. So I don't know. It's just, it's really cool. Um, I used to have the heroin diaries by Nikki six, uh, as a first edition print. And unfortunately, uh, I lent that out when I was in college and never got that back. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I have a few first edition things though. Uh, the Steve, the Steve-O biography, um, the Motley Crue one. Either way, we're on, we're talking about audiobooks. It was just, yeah. When it comes to like actual physical copies of books, I'm a fan of those as well. And I get like, the whole first edition nerdy kind of thing. It's just a little extra. Um, but audiobooks as well, like I like them for different reasons. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know. Give them a shot, folks. You know what I mean? Don't just hate on them or think it's for people who can't read or whatever have you. Um, yeah, I don't know. A good audiobook can actually suck you in. So I don't know. Don't be too harsh. And Jenny, if you're listening to this, I promise you, I am still reading your books as well. Uh, I just, a couple snags along the road, hit hit delays. Promise you, still reading them though. So, yeah. Goodness, folks. So, like I said. Oh, hold on. Cho-cho, cho-cho. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's some audiobook recommendations for you folks. Uh, Mr. Be Gone, read by Douglas Bradley. Um, Nocturnal by Scott Sigler. Uh, it, read by Steven Weber. I know there's one on YouTube, but it's not the same one I'm reading. 
um, or uh, I guess listening to, I don't know. And that's a debate that some people have too. Like if you, instead of reading the book, if you listen to the audiobook, like some people will say like, yeah, I read that book, but other people will be like real sticklers about it. Like, well, no, you listened to it. Like bitch, nothing was taken out. The whole fucking book was read. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. And actually, another thing that uh, audiobooks are helpful for as well is if uh, for some reason, like, you can't get a physical copy of the book, but you still want to hear it or listen to it, whatever it might be, um, it's good for that too, because you can always find audiobooks online, whether it's as uh, a torrent, and like, through apps, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Give them a chance, folks. Give them a chance. There's good ones and bad ones, like everything. Oh, 15 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let me get the fuck up on out of here. Um, make sure you hit up the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Church of Juvie. $2 a month. You get ex- like an exclusive like little video made for you just to say thank you. Um, which reminds me, thank you to little Jenny Wren. She's the $5 patron on the Patreon. There's a new video that actually just went up today. It's different from anything that's on the channel right now. Um, I just wanted to try something a little bit different, a little bit lighthearted, I guess you could say. Um, but to see that you got to be a $5 patron, uh, $5 patrons. You get an exclusive thank you made for you. Uh, you also get exclusive videos, early access to videos and early access to any music that I'll be, re- I'm going to be releasing on the channel. Um, so yeah, patreon.com slash church of juvie folks, make it worth your while. Oh, and also, Hey, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Uh, I might not reply, but I promise you, I do read them all. Yeah. Appreciate you folks tuning in. It means a fucking lot to me. It honestly does. You don't have to take these moments out of your day, but you do. So whether you're listening to this, to this on your way to work, go fucking crush it on the way home. Don't worry about what happened at work. Your boss is an asshole or your coworkers are fucks. Anyway, don't worry about them. Leave that shit at the office. When you get home, just be happy for the blessings you're surrounded by. Um, every, uh, like I don't know. Other than that, be excited to be wrong. Always learn new stuff. Mwah, mwah, mwah for you beautiful fat chays. I'll catch you tomorrow for a vlog. <laughs>